the sea salt and vinegar potato chips. Oh my god, how good are they, right? But the thing is, that's probably not a good idea. Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm gonna be going to the grocery store and showing you guys the type of foods that I pick up. Let's get started. Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Christine with Gage Girl Training. Today I'm gonna be going to the grocery store and showing you guys the type of foods that I pick up and I'm gonna walk you through my entire meal prep. So let's get started. All right, what's up YouTube? So normally, you guys know I love going to Trader Joe's, but I wanted to be really practical with this meal prep and show you guys foods and things that you can get just about anywhere. So I'm actually at a shop, right? And the prices are a little bit more competitive, which is really nice. And I didn't want to get you guys overly excited with specialty unique items that you can't get where you live. So this is going to be something that you guys can probably find just about anywhere. So stay tuned. So I have my camera all strapped into the shopping cart. It's pretty cool. Let's do this. All right guys, so meal prep tip number one, rotisserie chicken, rotisserie chicken, rotisserie chicken. I cannot stress it enough. If you need quick, you need convenient, literally just pick up a rotisserie chicken. Most major grocery stores have them. I heard Costco and Walmart have them, very cheap. You can literally just grab like two of these. It's literally like $4.99 for an entire prepared rotisserie chicken. And how many pounds of meat does this come with? It comes with at least 33 ounces of chicken for only $4.99. It is the best, fastest thing you can possibly do. So I am actually going to grab two of them for my meal prep. I'm gonna show you guys the stuff I make, but like you guys, I get it. You guys can cook chicken, you can grill chicken, you can do a lot of things, but if you need convenience and you don't have any time, Every single one of you can literally just go to the store, grab two rotisserie chickens, and call it a day because that extra time that you're gonna spend cooking and dicing and dealing with raw chicken, it's a lot of energy, that's a lot of time, and if you could just grab it and go, why not? So I just got stopped by the store dietitian asking me what it is I'm doing, but um, I told her, I'm like, I'm showing my meal prep and what I eat for the week, so. Hopefully I don't get in trouble. But what I'm doing right now, you guys, is I'm picking up some plantains. I normally haven't showed plantains on my meal prep vlog before, but I'm really excited about them because they just taste really good. And it's a, it's a really nice, dense carb, but they're normally in the banana section, but you can kind of see this is what they look like. They're really big and they're sold as single plantains, I guess, so to speak. But they have them here, you guys. You can see that they have the ripe ones and green ones. I typically will grab one or two green ones and just wait until they're ripe to start cooking with them. But just notice the difference of what they look like compared to the bananas. So they're a lot bigger, they're sold by themselves, but I'm gonna grab two of these for some variety in my meal prep this week. I'm really loving plantain these days. So one thing I'm obsessed with is cilantro. I love adding it to my proteins, my carbs, I mix it in with some rice. But um, when you are meal prepping, you definitely want to be much more creative with the spices. You wanna make sure that you are using herbal spices, things that are not gonna add a lot of calories. So I really like things like cilantro for this reason. I'm actually also going to pick up some greens. I'm gonna grab some spinach. I'm just gonna grab a big thing of spinach. So another thing I really like is I like to make cucumber salads. I'll be showing you guys this in the meal prep portion of this video, but I consider um, cucumbers a free food actually because they're so light in calories, something really easy to add bulk and volume to your meals. I also like to use um, spinach as a free food. It also helps just to bulk up any meal. And I'm actually in the pepper section right now and trying to film. I'm really big on adding spice to my food, so I'm obsessed with jalapeno peppers. You'll see how I work with these, but I'm just gonna grab a big handful of jalapeno peppers and use these to cook with, so here we go. So another free food that I like to work with is baby carrots. Um, I consider these a free food. This is just some, when you need something just to munch on and you need a little extra something and you feel like you need to eat something, so just grab some of these and Another food I like to throw in with my meal prep is 
mushrooms. Love, love, love mushrooms. I'm going to be getting the baby portobello mushrooms. Now when you buy mushrooms, I encourage you guys to get the whole mushrooms, not, not the ones that are already pre-sliced like this because you could always slice them open yourself and I feel like if you get them when they're already sliced open, they don't keep as long. So that is why I like to get the ones that are whole so I can cut them myself. For me, no meal prep is complete without Brussels sprouts. Literally obsessed with Brussels sprouts. You can buy them by the bag. I'll show you guys what I do with these in the kitchen. But these are a must have for my meal prep and it's something I'm really excited about. Really easy to work with. And if you have never used them before, you really need to consider them. A lot of people write them off because they don't like um, the way they taste, but a lot of it has to do with how you cook them. So I encourage you guys to give them another go. I'm also here picking up some limes. These are four for $1.99, so grab some limes. So another thing I'm picking up is I'm obsessed with fingerling potatoes. They are so cute and little and they roast really well in the oven. I'll have to show you guys in the kitchen portion of this video, but um, they're just fun and I like them. So you'll see I have some really good seasoning blends that we're gonna put on them and make some amazing meals. There is one more item that I'm really excited to show you guys. It's a real whole food and it's like seriously overlooked. Now I'm not a vegan or vegetarian. You guys know that I like my meat. But I am going to show you guys how I meal prep with tofu because I have some really good ways of seasoning it. Now I'm getting some 16 ounce extra firm tofu. I really enjoy it. Now this is going to be a little bit higher in carb. So let's see, three ounces here has eight grams of protein, two carb, four and a half fat. So it's a little bit higher on the fat side. But I'm going to show you guys my cooking method of what I do with this. Um, how I make it taste amazing. For those of you who want to see some alternatives um, from just ooh, cooking with traditional just like meat and stuff like that, just to, to cover those options for you guys. But I'm excited because I'm gonna go check out the um, seafood. I'm really hungry for salmon. And that's gonna be like the main thing I'm gonna prep this week outside of this chicken that I have. But it's always good to have some easy things, you guys, because if you set yourself up to do like these big epic meal preps all the time, which is cool and you should, but like sometimes you just need simple and that's why I always make sure I have something simple and easy. But I'm gonna be getting some salmon. Let's see here. Yeah, salmon's a little bit pricier. Pricier, obviously, but if you can afford it, it's nice to do for yourself once in a while. If you want an economical, seafood option what I recommend doing is checking out Sizzlefish. Sizzlefish.com you can get a discount with promo code GAUGEGIRL. The thing that's nice about Sizzlefish is they will ship the stuff fast and free to your house for overnight shipping and everything's already pre-packaged out in the portion so I actually have a whole freezer of their stuff which I'm going to include in some of the meal prep that I show you guys but just wanted to show you guys that. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to just grab a couple seasonings and just a few basics and essentials. All right, so one product I've really been liking lately, you guys, is this company. It's called Alfresco. Um, they have these chicken sausages. I'm obsessed with them. So it, it tastes really good. I make them for breakfast. So I've never tried this Italian one, but let me see. I definitely love their apple maple breakfast these yes 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 you want to get these these are really good I really like these um, let's see what other flavors they have they have this wild blueberry that's kind of interesting country style do we want to try country style or do we want to try wild blueberry why don't we try country style that sounds good we'll check that out another brand I recommend um, is Applegate Naturals, you guys. You can see they have a chicken and maple breakfast sausage as well. They have these chicken and maple breakfast sausage patties. If you wanna know how to make your own breakfast sausage patties, what you can do is you can check this link right here for this other video I have with a full recipe tutorial and what spices I use. But they have a lot of chicken-based um, breakfast sausages. They're very natural. They taste very good. They don't have a lot of um, preservatives or processed ingredients in there, so they're really good if you want to check those out. Now, if you've been a Gage Girl for any amount of time, you know what we're, or where we're at. We are in the pickle aisle. Guys, OMG, 
I love pickles. And you guys, I consider these a free food because you have to have some foods that you don't need to like stress out about like counting every single little list thing. But I'm gonna be grabbing some pickles. If you ever just like need a little something extra, cause normally, I'll be honest with you guys, confession time, I love, literally love, well, let me say lust. <laughs> lust after the sea salt and vinegar potato chips. Oh my God, how good are they, right? But the thing is, that's probably not a good idea if you're trying to lose weight and be healthy and all this and that. So eat pickles, just eat pickles. It's like five calories per pickle. All right, so my meal prep would not be complete without picking up some Sri Rasha. It's literally like blasphemy in my house when I run out of this stuff. It's like I'm not a true Asian or something. Um, another thing which is really nice if you want to give your chicken a teriyaki twist is to use this ingredient right here, mirin. I'll show you guys some chicken teriyaki fun stuff. Now, I, I have traditional soy sauce at home, but if you do not eat soy, you can have these coconut aminos. These are really good as well. They taste a little bit sweeter, but they're nice. But I'm gonna pick those up just so you can see some options that taste really good. Now, the only other thing I need to find is the seasonings, and then we will, that'll be about it. Because everything else, I have a lot of other things already at home. I already have a lot of things in the freezer, which I'll show you guys. I already have a lot of spices, but it's like you can never have enough spices. It's like accessories for your outfit. You can never have enough, if that makes sense. <laughs> you can always use more or at least see if there's anything fun and new. So here we are in the spice aisle. So this is actually a new product. I've never worked with it before. I'm actually going to try it. This is whole earth sweetener. They have a stevia and monk fruit blend here. I'm going to try to see if I like it. But see, they also have a raw cane sugar and stevia blend. I'm going to check out both of them and report back to you guys on what I think. Because I'm not too crazy about stevia by itself. Like I told you guys in my other video, it has kind of like a licorice aftertaste, which I'm not a huge fan of. Now one spice I would recommend getting in bulk is cumin. Cumin makes everything taste amazing. It's the, it's the raw ingredient that makes taco seasoning have that like s distinct taco-y smell and I just really love it. I actually have a lot of spices at home. I'm just trying to see if anything pops out at me that looks fun to try. I just can't do Mrs. Dash, you guys, for any of you who are like looking for low salt options. Just get the pure herbal seasonings. I don't know why, I just, I just don't like the aftertaste. It's got a very distinct chemical aftertaste that I, I just can't with. So I'm not trying to hate on any other brands or whatnot, but like I just don't recommend them. There's so many better ways you can naturally spice and season your food without that, that chemical aftertaste. If you don't have a problem with artificial sweeteners, this is probably one of the best things that you can get, which is the Walden Farms pancake syrup. Now the sweetener is sucralose, but um, if you are on a really low calorie diet, I really recommend that for bikini competitors. But if you don't want to do um, a sucralose based thing, what you can do is you can remove some of the carbs elsewhere in your day and just microwave some blueberries and put that on your protein pancakes and it tastes really good and it's got like a syrupy type of a consistency, so it's a nice. But I'm about to check out now, get all this stuff bagged up and drive it home, and unload the car and bring it in the kitchen and I will show you guys part two. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.